All right, what's been brewing over the last couple of months, uh, really since October or September of last year, even through the summer of last year, has been a major new initiative for me in my life, really all of our lives on the team here at Media Day. Basically, what, what we realized is that there's a major new opportunity in the media landscape because there's been a major crop of very, very highly valued companies BuzzFeed, Vice, uh, Vox, Huffington Post, the new media companies, and they've all been highly valued, but have since either tanked or have been severely downsized or gone bankrupt. So first of all, there's a massive new hole in the marketplace, sort of in the financial marketplace. And then in the media landscape, obviously they're not producing as much content, but more broadly, there's a an interesting opening in the sense of sort of in the culture. No one is producing content that everybody can enjoy. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically you look at Netflix, another new media company. They're very interested in pushing out very edgy content. They either, you know, their content doesn't really stand for anything, or if it stands for something specific, it's very edgy. I guess is the most polite way I can describe it. Um, it's not family friendly. It's not aimed at wholesome good values. It's not at all adequate or even, the children should not even come near it, right? So it's very hostile, very aggressive, very postmodern in almost all of its shows. I mean, almost all of its shows. So that's what they're all up to. And that's fine, that's what they wanna do, let them put that content out. But the question that I've had myself is who's putting out content that most of the people in the world at least in this country etc would be interested in and i don't see anybody i mean disney used to be that company that used to put out that content but disney has you know over the decades obviously since walt disney's himself's demise has been not the same they had some interesting movies in the later years but especially in the last 10 years they've tanked as well in terms of content they're still a massive company but in content there's nothing there that i'm interested in that many people are interested in so there's like an interesting opening in the classical mindset and producing content towards that mindset towards that worldview um, towards families that are interested in that children that need to be brought up in that etc cetera, etc cetera. disney used to be that company they used to target that culture and produce movies for that culture They've stopped doing that. Netflix has never inter been interested in producing content for that culture. So pl that plus the financial opening to me has opened up an interesting new vista of what could be done. And we've been ideating like mad, uh, creating concepts, thoughts, what this could look like. What does this company do? Like and having a new company that, that's in, in that landscape, playing in that world, I think is an enormous opportunity. If for no other reason, then that I don't think anybody else will enter that space because all the new media companies are, are into the edgy stuff. People that are creative and highly motivated, highly driven, highly ambitious, come from the, the, the edgy culture themselves. They're, they don't have any, any, any interest in the classical wholesome stuff. They just don't like it. And people from the wholesome culture don't generally go into the creative world. So they don't, they want to see that stuff and they want to show it to their kids. They want to watch it themselves, but they don't know how to produce it. They don't know what it takes to make it. Uh, they can't make it themselves. So they're stuck. They're kind of frustrated, which is also a great thing for me because if I can enter that space over the next five, 10 years and I can earn their trust, then it's a pretty simple proposition that here's the content that's always been valuable, that always is important and always needs to be engaged with. And especially our children have to be, have to be engaged with it. And here's us believing in it. Like Disney used to believe in it. Here's us providing content around that. And it's a huge question because this is not a, a simple undertaking because, you know, we're not right now, I'm not a millionaire or even close to one. So how do you just go and start a media company from scratch?